Good evening, folks. This is Stye, out here at the pond on my two-night, three-day little camping outing. This is the second evening. Um, turned out to be a beautiful day. Started out real cold, and cloudy, and now we got beautiful clear skies. Just little fluffy clouds here and there. It's um, starting to cool off a little bit, but it got up um, into the low 60s today. Um, and I just wanted to thank everybody for tagging along on my little camping outing. And I'm going to sit here this evening and just soak in the pond and just watch what's going on and enjoy the campfire and last night of kicking back out here camping and watch the sunset. It's going to be a beautiful sunset tonight. Um, I'm going to get a little of that on video so that you folks, I can share that sunset with you. Uh, we'll put it at the end of this video. Um, yeah, we had an interesting couple of days. Um, first day wasn't much of anything. Uh, just tried to get camp all established and get settled in and worked out pretty good. I had a good night at camp and a good night's sleep. And then today, this afternoon, we built this camp chair that I'm sitting in. I don't do any filming with the clients, uh, but I, I'll probably just have some discussions with our clients and those that wouldn't mind uh, ending up on my YouTube channel. Uh, I may do some filming with clients this summer. But I'd like to wrap up. Now tomorrow I'll probably do a video in the morning um, saying good morning to all my viewers and sub subscribers um, but I might also do another sty story tomorrow I'm not sure and then I'm going to be packing up and tearing down camp and getting ready to head back in um, I do want to get into the homestead before too late in the afternoon they're talking about heavy weather again tomorrow and it blowing into here by afternoon so I get um, out of here by two o'clock or three o'clock I should be doing okay um, what I'd like to do being this is my last evening I was sitting here thinking before I turned the camera on that it's so enjoyable so relaxing it's almost it's it's definitely therapeutic to be in the outdoors. I'm just watching this baby beaver just 15 feet away from me swimming past right now. And just a little fellow. There's four ducks right to the left of me. There's about 15 over on the other end of the pond. There's a group of about eight of them right over here about 40 feet away. They're all enjoying their evening. 
And I got to thinking about it. I heard um, that my grandson's wife, I guess my granddaughter-in-law, went into the hospital last night to give birth to their first child. It's supposed to be a boy. Um, and he, <coughs> excuse me. That'll be my first great grandchild. Now, don't let that fool you. I'm not as old as I look. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you how old I am, but I'm not as old as I look. Um, I have four children, adult children, and through those four children, I have 13 grandchildren and a 14th grandchild on its way. And now I'll have a great grandson after they expected her to del deliver today sometime. So he may already be here. I don't know. I'll find out tomorrow when I get back to the homestead and get online. Um, they'll contact me. But um, I got to thinking about that. And, you know, that's a big thing. That's a very big thing. Um, my family, my great grandfather only had one son. That was my grandfather. My grandfather only had one son. That was my father. My father had two sons and two daughters. And between us, my brother and I, we increased by nine. I had four children. He had five. I, I'll get beat up if I get this wrong. He has three sons. I had two sons. They have a few grandchildren right now. I'm not sure how many. Three, three or four, maybe five. <laughs> I don't know. Um, uh, God bless my brother. He's pa he passed away um, a while back, um, but his his wife um, is there making up for the l l lack of grandpa f for those kids. On my side, my four children produced those thirteen grandkids, and now a fourteenth on the way. And now one of those grandkids has had a child of their own. The family has gotten quite large. It went from just two men to this huge family. I don't get to spend enough time with those grandkids that, like I would like to. I would love to spend more time with my grandchildren. And I'd love to have them outdoors. So I want to throw a little challenge to you folks and see how many of you are actually up to it. What I'd like you to do is take a kid outdoors. And I don't mean for a walk in the park. Oop, the smoke from the fire is coming this way. Take them out for at least an overnighter. Just one night. A day and a night, you know. Take them out there, spend the day with them, spend one night, and then come on home the next day if that's all you can do. But it can be your own child, it can be a grandchild, it can be a niece, a nephew, but take a kid outdoors. It would be so good for them. It would be so rewarding for them to spend time with you. I know all of you that are watching these videos are skilled in the outdoors, you're skilled in bushcrafting, Take them out and teach them some simple bushcrafting skills. Just one or two things. They'll be so much better for it. And I guarantee that you 
will be so much better for it. So do that if you can. And if you do it, leave a comment under this video that you did it. Just say, I took my grandson camping last weekend. We were gone one night and two days, and um, we had a great time. That's all you need to say. But do it from the time you see this video into the future. Don't post a comment about, well, I did that two weeks ago. Because I can say that, too. Last summer, I had a grandson for almost the whole summer. Um, took him out all the time. Um, that doesn't count. I'm talking about today. Moving ahead. Take a kid outdoors. We'd all be better for it. So this is Steinor saying good evening, everybody. And I'm going to catch this sunset and throw that out the end of, at the end of this video. And then I'll see you folks tomorrow in a video or two. So thanks again for coming along, and I hope you enjoy this evening. You all have a very good evening.